Then the Slytherin. Percy was telling Gordon the story. Then the engine flew high up into the air and landed perfectly back on the track. You mean like the time Thomas jumped the bridge? No, that moment was crunchy and uncannon. So, you mean just flew? Yes! Yeah, pretty much! Unlikely, Percy. I hope I can do that someday, too! Nonsense. You're too small and special and slow to go as fast as that engine, even if it did happen. Because it did. But it didn't. So, you aren't fast enough. Maybe me, a strong, tender engine, shall be able to fly. You, most certainly, will never be able to. Well, good night anyway, Gordon. Good night, little person. Next morning, Gordon woke up bright and early, being ready to take a train. Huh, I wonder if... if Percy was right. Maybe I can be the first engine to go flying without a plane or a crane to help me. And Gordon set off. Gordon was going faster than he'd ever. Gordon felt like the speediest engine on Sodor. Oh no. This isn't going to go well. Whoa! Whoa! Da, 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 da. Ouch. Oh no. I hope somebody gets here soon. You did a good job of flying up in the air, Gordon. Just, you forgot to land on the track. Since that day, Gordon decided never to listen to Percy again.